At Payne Community Hospital, we take pride in our community. Our patients are our friends, neighbors, and our family. I'm Dr. Walter Cunnington. I'm fortunate to have the opportunity to work with seven family practice physicians and three nurse practitioners. We provide quality care in four different communities, bringing personal care to each and every patient we see. Whether it's providing care in our primary care clinics, in our emergency department, outpatient services featuring state-of-the-art technology, or general and specialty surgical services, we can provide the compassionate quality care you are looking for. It was a happy homecoming in Pena on Friday night as the Panthers hosted the Piasaw Southwestern Birds. You never want to lose your homecoming game. It just ruins your whole weekend, really. And so the kids came ready to practice. They, they practiced really hard this week. They were really focused. Um, and so if, as long as we continue to do that, uh, I feel really good about our chances later on down the road. And we feel like all day like, all night like, all Payne has set the tone early in this one with a couple of big plays on defense, coming up with a fourth down stop that set them up in Piasaw territory. Payne would take advantage of the good field position just a few plays later when Jacob Beeson surveyed the field, settled back, and delivered a strike to Blake Stouter on a 12-yard slant. Panthers were off to the races in this one. You had an incredibly efficient first half. I think at one point you were 13 for 14, 159 yards and three touchdowns. What was working for you in the first half tonight? Well, a big shout out to my linemen for keeping me clean. They gave me a bunch of time to find receivers down open downfield, and I just hit them. Uh, you had a, a big game early, a couple of touchdowns. What happened on those two plays? Well, in practice, we've been working on reading that safety, and that safety was rolled back over, and Coach Higgins called the play, and we knew as soon as he was over, rolled over, it was going to be a touchdown. Beeson kind of just rolled out and I just found an open spot and he's pretty good at just dishing it out in the open area and I just took off to the end zone. The Panthers regularly turned short passes into big gains and everybody was getting in on the action. Joe England picked up a nice chunk on this wheel route. Nick McMillan extended the drive on a big over the shoulder catch that he reeled in down the sideline. Dalton Anderson took one of Piasaw's best shots but kept on trucking. And then Ian Harbert made a shifty move in the backfield, ducked his head, and bulldozed his way in the end zone from 10 yards out as Painter cruised to a 21 0 lead. Panther scoring was far from over. Jake McLeod had already added the first field goal of the season to make it 24-0. Joe England just about cut this video short when he nearly barreled into me on the sideline, but it did keep the drive alive. Josh Simak came down with a big catch across the middle and was able to slip away from a couple of Piasaw defenders to get into the red zone. Then it was a beast in the wind over screen that went for a short TD where Lenover split two defenders at the goal line. With a commanding 31-0 lead, Payne didn't hit the brakes just yet. Beeson showed off some nifty footwork, and then Jack Clark pushed his way down to the two-yard line on a toss left before muscling his way into the end zone one play later for Payne's sixth score of the night. Uh, we saw that, that their defense liked to play off the, the receivers, so we knew our short passing game was going to be a big factor in this game. And uh, just, you know, went with the quarterbacks a lot this week and, and worked on, on our short passing routes and reading the defense. And, and Beeson did another amazing job tonight, um, you know, just limiting the amount of mistakes that he made and finding the open receivers, reading the defense, and getting the ball out to our receivers. And our receivers did a great job of catching the ball and, and breaking tackles and getting upfield and getting us yards. The opening minutes of the second half featured a flurry of turnovers by both teams. Payton put the ball on the deck first in their opening possession, only to get it back the very next play. They would march down in the red zone, but a blitzing Piasaw defender would disrupt the handoff and they would lose it a second time, though the Birds would do the same thing as well. Payton finally managed to regain their composure with 138 left in the third quarter when Jake McLeod drilled the second field goal of the game, a 27-yarder that put Payne up 41-0 and forced a continuous clock. 
The exclamation point for the Panthers came when Jared Byers secured the shutout on this pick in the waning seconds of the game. He had great man coverage and, and um, you know, we, we teach him to run with him and he got his eyes back and just saw the kid under through it basically. And we had good pressure on the kid too, That's, that helped a lot from uh, uh, our defensive end. I think it was Austin Bear. Third shutout in, in five games. How good, your How good is your defense playing right now? Uh, you know, we're, we're playing well. We tackled well, and then if we, if we did miss a tackle, we had a great pursuit. Um, you know, we, we're not doing anything crazy. Uh, in the past, I've had to do things. You know, we've had some pretty good defenses, and we've had to do some things to do uh, you know, to hurt some people. And this year, we're, you know, we're pretty vanilla, really. Um, and the kids are doing a great job with it. Um, we've got plenty of kids to sub through. Uh, super proud of that. And, man, we had some big hits tonight. Woo! So uh, we're, we're, we're pretty proud of that. You know, we, um, you know, we, we, we live for defense, uh, essentially. Obviously, everybody loves offense, but these kids want to play good defense. They understand that's what you know, helps us win, win football games. This week was by far the best week of practice we've had, and that showed on the field tonight. You have now qualified for playoffs. automatic bid. Six is an automatic bid. The heck, 9-0 is an automatic home game. Yeah. That's what we're looking for, alright? I don't think there's another team in the South Central Conference that's won 14 consecutive South Central Conference games. Yeah.